We are glad to welcome you on the channel 40 weeks of pregnancy. Subscribe and wait for new videos. 13 tips for dealing with morning sickness. How to help morning sickness? Pregnancy can be an amazing ride, but the morning sickness that often accompanies it isn't so great. Thankfully, there are ways to manage it. Remedies that can help morning sickness include rest, identifying and avoiding triggers, hydration, and medication. So, when do you get morning sickness? Pregnancy nausea can start as early as 6 weeks and tends to peak around the 8th and 9th weeks. 1. Take a break. If you have morning sickness, getting adequate rest is critical. Sometimes, just the thought of dragging yourself out of bed only compounds the nausea. Unfortunately, it's not always possible to take a sick day or give yourself a break, but if you can, do it. Some employers require a doctor's note for a sick day, so make sure you call your healthcare provider before taking off, so they can provide the appropriate recommendation. Your body's working all the time on growing that baby. You deserve it. Even better, doctors recommend scheduling a vacation during your seventh or eighth week of pregnancy. Then morning sickness generally starts to peak. In either case, you won't have to divulge your pregnancy news to your co-workers before you're ready. And the time off will help you recap physically and mentally. 2. Sniff a fresh scent. Certain scents will turn your tummy. Whether it's the last and pleasant width of the garbage can or the smell of your co-worker's perfume in a crowded elevator. Conversely, other scents, like citrus and certain herbs, may help morning sickness. Morning sickness is often smell-associated. Ugly smells, smells you can't get away from, and potent smells will make you nauseous. While there is no research-backed evidence of a heightened sense of smell during pregnancy, there are a lot of anecdotal reports. Some hypothesize that pregnancy hormones may play a role. Try sniffing fresh scents when you can't open a window or walk away. Carry a bottle of lemon extract or a sprig of fresh rosemary in your bag and still feel a sneak a sniff when needed. 3. Get support. You may be all about self-sufficiency and powering through your pregnancy, but being vocal about what you're experiencing can help alleviate morning sickness misery. For example, your partner may not know that their scented soap makes you queasy or that kissing you post-pizza dinner without brushing their teeth first gets your gag reflex going. So tell them and let them know what little changes they can make to help you feel better. 4. Track your nausea. Paying attention to when your morning sickness occurs may help you identify a pattern, which in turn might point to a trigger you can then avoid to help avert the nausea. For example, if you find yourself getting nauseated at the same time every evening, it may be from the smells of your neighbor's cooking. Queasy at 3 p.m. A co-worker's afternoon popcorn habit could be the culprit. Once you've identified morning sickness triggers, you can take steps to avoid them or counteract them whenever possible. 5. Stay hydrated. It sounds like a no-brainer, but staying hydrated can feel like a monumental effort then you have morning sickness. But it's essential to get enough liquids because the more dehydrated you become, the more nauseated you will become. Try different ways of tricking your body into accepting fluids. For example, salty snacks like potato chips and cheese curls settle their stomachs and trigger their thirst. 
others swear by popsicles, cold liquids, or peeping hot beverages. Temperature makes a difference. If a beverage is a tepid middle temperature, it sometimes makes people gag. 6. Find foods that work for you. Many people don't feel like eating, then they feel nauseous. But finding the foods that go down easiest and stay down can help morning sickness. Though there is no hard and fast rule about the best foods for morning sickness, many people find it easier to keep certain items down. Bland, carb-rich snacks like crackers, dry cereal and pretzels have seen many women through morning sickness, as have ice-cold treats like popsicles and watermelon straight from the refrigerator. Fatty and spicy foods may upset your stomach, but if you find that they work for you, by all means go ahead and eat them. 7. Eat small amounts often. Many find that grazing all day helps with morning sickness. When your tummy is empty, the stomach aces have nothing to feast on but your stomach leaning, compounding nausea. On the other hand, eating too much can overtax the digestive system, also leading to quiz. Keeping your tummy a little bit full all day and all night is the best defense against morning sickness. Nibbling a little before you get out of bed in the morning can stave off nausea. And a light bedtime snack will stabilize your blood sugar throughout the night. 8. Try ginger. Ginger has long been touted as a stomach soother, and studies have shown that it may help morning sickness. A 2014 meta-analysis found that using ginger for at least four days was associated with a five-fold likelihood of improvement in early pregnancy nausea and vomiting. Try adding a thin slice of ginger to hot water or sipping flat ginger ale, the kind with real ginger. If that doesn't sound appetizing, try sipping on some ginger tea sucking on a ginger lollipop or lozenger, or snacking on a handful of crystallized ginger candy, ginger snaps, or even ginger bread. Try microwaving ginger jam and powering it over vanilla ice cream. Yum! 9. Adjust your screens. It may sound strange, but adjusting your screens so they're easier to see may help with morning sickness. That's because your device's bright screen and undetectable strobe effect may make you more nauseated. To combat this effect, try adjusting your screen to reduce eye strain. For example, make the front size bold and larger and change the background to a soft pink or a tan. Doctor recommend taking short breaks from the computer, tablet or phone by the getting up to do something else or simply closing your eyes. 10. Distract yourself. Morning sickness isn't easy to ignore, but finding something to take your mind off it may help. For example, read a book, do a Sudoku puzzle, or go for a short walk. Some women even claim that exercise relieves their nausea, so feel free to exercise if it feels good for you. And of course, listen to your body. If you start feeling tired or queasy, it's time to stop. 11. Carry a morning sickness survival kit. No matter how many times it happens, puking in public isn't something you ever get used to. But stocking your bag with some essentials may offer some reassurance that you are prepared. It's also a good idea to carry a plastic bag, for those dreaded can't hold it until they reach a bathroom moments, plus a snack stash of crackers or pretzels that you can munch when your stomach starts to feel empty or upset. 12. Consider taking medications. If your morning sickness is severe 
and you are having difficulty keeping anything down, you may require medication. Of course, before taking any medication, check with a healthcare provider. For severe sickness, called hyperemesis gravidarium, you may want to explore prescription medications like Compazine, Prochlorperazine, Meclazine, Zofran, Ondansetron, Reglan, Metacropolamide, and Thenergan, Promethazine. Once you get the go-ahead, don't worry about the meds harming your baby. The relief they provide will benefit you both. It's important not to let morning sickness go too far in the interest of avoiding medication at all costs, because the dehydration, calorie deprivation, and starvation state is really unhealthy for the baby. 13. Wear an acupressure wristband. Remember those sea sickness wristbands you wore on that Caribbean cruise? Dig them out and strap them on because they may also help with morning sickness. Acupressure wristbands apply light pressure to a spot located inside the wrist, believed to be related to nausea and vomiting, whether induced by motion or morning sickness. Who knows? It might just make you feel a bit better.